Hey, gems. This is our mid-month reading. Our tarot session for mid-May 2020 or whenever the messages may find you and resonate as always. This is for any and all gems. Gems of all shapes and sizes, gem suns, gem moons, gem ascendants, maybe your Mars or Venus or North Node is in Gemini. Um, you might have any placement there or you may just be drawn to the title, Gemini's energy, be interested in Gemini energy or a Gemini energy in particular. We are using the Tarot in Wonderland deck today. To get started, at least, we may need some additional cards. We'll see. I didn't in our last reading. Our last reading was actually Virgo, so that may prove to be interesting that after much shuffling and meditation, um, the uh, first, well, the card on the bottom of the deck to start you off, the first card that we, we see in your reading then, was the um, was the hermit card and now we have the world card actually again because this did come out when shuffling and meditating with you before recording so many of you at this time are feeling a sense of completion And you may be celebrating that, Gems. The Seven of Swords reversed. Also on the table with us. This completion that you are experiencing may come... with the realization that someone around you has been dishonest with you, has been sneaky in some sense, maybe taking from you. Um, it looks like this individual is being it's definitely being noticed, um, is, is getting caught. The Knight of Swords, again, this is resurfacing because that did come out for you while shuffling and meditating with the deck before recording. Is in your near future, this is an energy you're heading into of determination and focus. After addressing this issue of whomever has been um, taking from you, possibly addressing that issue, noticing this person's deceit, betrayal on some level, at least, um, may be in large part with what the completion is centering around, what it is really truly about for some of you gems. And then the Ace of Cups also shows up. I think I'll wait, um, Well, no, we'll take all three of these cards. If you can see them all. Yeah, those fit. Well, it was just going to be six cards, but I feel like this is your reading gems. And then we do have the eight of wands, the eight of fire on the bottom of the deck.
Okay, everything is fitting in nicely, and we have the Ace of Fire then below that, just so you're clued in, but that won't fit in our frame. So, Gems, I actually really love when that happens and we end up with eight cards, nine cards with the other card on the bottom of the deck now um, that we take this Eight of Fire off, but... Um, Working with this extra card just in the main seven card spread here now because this is like this is going to be like your crowning thoughts, your higher your higher mind, what your higher mind knows when your ego is quiet, which um, is a part of the Celtic cross that I sometimes leave out in a certain abbreviation of it, the one that I'm doing this month, in fact. Um, and so I love when it pops out and it and insists on being known. So what we see is in that space is the king of pentacles in that position. A mastery over one's physical realm. I thought there was something on the card, but it is just decoration, detailed decoration on this tablecloth. And so it is very lifelike for me. It is very 3D for me. It is very uh, confusing for, for me. It was there for a second. And so... Um, confounding and so it's 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 in this particular version I was already thinking that because of the character on this card in this particular version we are talking about you know a, a mastery over one's physical world even if that is not understood or apparent to others mastering your physical realm your finances your resources your community your relationships uh, feeling um, healthy and all in in all of those respects feeling feeling comfortable in all of those aspects of your your life your 3d physical realm and well-being is not synonymous with appearing to have mastered that realm right those are two different things actually having done the thing and then as with anything in life right actually having done a certain thing or actually being a certain way is not exactly synonymous with seeming to have done that thing. Having the reputation for being a certain way is not the same thing as actually being that way, right? And to put effort into being known for something rather than putting effort into just doing that actual thing that you would like to be known for is, is simply something else entirely and often results in a completely different effect entirely. Well-intentioned though that that cause may have been or not important though it may seem, um, you know, for others to have the right idea about you or not. In this particular case, that's not what's highlighted or escalated or elevated. This, this completion, this recognition of someone who has been uh, draining your energy, some part of it without permission, um, and, and mastering your physical world through celebrating your completion, probably through... Um, cutting ties with this individual for a lot of you as we see this knight of swords in the near future riding in with his his sword ready to cut this person down as they sneak off i you know i see them being caught and i see you likely cutting ties with them or at the very least as we said earlier it needs addressed right that type of draining of your energy being dishonest deceitful sneaky even can be tolerated now that you've graduated to a new level of understanding, state of consciousness for some of you, state of being certainly seems to be directly related to um, an understanding of the way, again, your physical world resources 
tangible uh, goodies are, are managed, how they move in and out of your life. I think someone has revealed this person to you because in the root of the situation, we see the Ace of Water, the Ace of Cups. This can be someone being very open, someone um, sharing openly. So it's likely that someone has given this individual away, um, sort of looked in their direction when they were having a very open, honest conversation with you, perhaps. Um, just, you know, tipped you off sort of uh, implied that you should look into um, how this individual is interacting with your your energy. What is it? Your money, your resources, your time, something of yours. Um, so yeah, someone just may have offered you this, just been open. But it, it, this also may have been a genuine connection. This can also represent an opportunity for true happiness. That can be what they've given you in this gift of information an opportunity to be free of that type of theft, if that can apply. And and it may be a, a bigger gift than they know. It may be an opportunity for real for real happiness for you where whereas you were stuck when you were blind to that knowledge, right? To that truth. Um we should, we should say that you do want to be careful not to act too quickly, too rashly, too harshly, even though it does feel and seem like a good idea to cut ties with this individual or at the very least address the situation. Um, the Knight of Swords, while very determined and focused, can sometimes speak, act, even think and speak specifically too, too harshly, um, maybe be a little disrespectful um step on someone's toes now that might be because you don't ultimately want to lose this person or you ultimately want to decide to be a more forgiving individual yes but it can also and it feels like this might be more true in this situation um it can also be a matter of not wanting to be so disrespectful that you end up apologizing to someone who really brought that on their damn selves right that's always particularly uncomfortable and it confuses the situation further you find yourself apologizing to this individual because yes perhaps you did speak too disrespectfully but that doesn't change the facts of the matter that that resulted in that heated exchange if you will for a reason right um so you, it might be it's one or the other I, I think that's actually um more specific though that is, I think it is more true for more of you that it's a matter of you maybe do want to let them know what you think of them at the very least, or maybe even just let them go entirely. But you don't necessarily want to lower yourself to speaking to them as harshly as you might if you rush right in there. You don't necessarily want to speak to them so disrespectfully that you end up confusing the situation further by going back and apologizing to them and making them think well, then, as as they assumed you were in the wrong and maybe deserved this behavior to begin with, right? It just it, it just continues to muddle and muddle things. But for others of you, it may be that this can be forgiven and, and they can stay in your life. That's that's completely up to you. And 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 I do think that 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 message does, you know, sound, sound very specific and personalized. But I do think it's it's quite necessary for us to address that aspect of that card because what this reading is all is all about is speed messages information just energy in general moving very quickly specifically I always um, think of the phrase expedited progress so it is progress likely in a a, a chosen and healthy direction a direction that has a lot of energy and will continue to it it seems but that that was on the bottom of the deck ends up overlapping this near future card specifically both talking about rushed hurried 
energy, maybe and maybe specifically messages, yes. So make sure that you say what you mean. Let some of your angry, irritated, hurt, betrayed, confused thoughts and ideas be simply thoughts and ideas like clouds passing overhead. Let them move by. You can write them down. You can re record them in a, in a personal vlog diary. You can speak them to a close confidant, maybe this one who shared openly with you. Now that's up to your intuition and discretion. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying that the reading is suggesting that. It's, it's an option. Um, I suppose let's get uh, one clarifier on that. open sharing in the root of the situation that has led to all this as we move forward. But yeah, you, you, you want to find some way to allow a lot of those, those, it looks like it would seem to allow a lot of those thoughts and ideas to just, to be just that you can always return to them rather than rushing in with what you think and 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 what you think needs to happen next for for your own sake so this is about not lowering yourself to a level you don't want to not um putting yourself in a position where you end up having to eat your words are you justified in feeling the way that it makes you feel of course and the last thing that you deserve just after celebrating this completion after facing this harsh truth addressing it like an adult right um is to suffer then guilt and regret. Or worse yet, to suffer denying that you've done anything that you would change if you could. When in truth, you know, moving forward, biting your tongue maybe to some extent is, is more about so much more about who you want to be and how you want to be the energy you want to be in and attracting to you moving forward rather than about 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 them and their lessons you know they're dealing with that it's it's it it is hardly about that at all if you can simply say what you really mean It's not to say that harsh words are never called for, but you know, just say, make sure you're, you're saying what you really mean. The Knight of Swords is also in the near future, um, often representative of an individual who knows that they need frequent meditation and, and, and so hopefully is giving themselves that can recognize that. Um, I think I don't mean to speak down to you at all, Gems, but I think I'm hitting home these simple messages because I can feel, um, I can feel some of that, that hot burning energy of when, when someone just ticks you off because it was not their place to, uh, betray you in this way, sneak around behind your back in this way, whatever it was. I'm specifically reminded of times when I've had to eat my words and thought, well, you know, you asked for that. I do wish I hadn't told you about yourself in exactly that way, but you did need to be told about yourself and you did ask for it with what you just did. You know, I'm, I mean, you can hear it. I'm, I'm, so, I'm taken back to it. I can feel it. And so I think I'm reminding you of, of simple things like meditation and thinking before you speak, et cetera, because it, it, you're some of you, some of you, um, it's a, it's an intense emotional energy. Some of you are in a space of, um, 
being a little bit blinded by why by what what could be verging on uh, rage, uh, you know, or akin to it. What's what's akin to it? So you have the five of wands, five of fire, and the as 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 a, an additional piece of information on that ace of cups. I see a lot of chaotic energy. Competing egos, competitors. And a, a sense of... Uh, family feuds that might actually not be... That may be more playful than anything. We do see someone here who stands out though. And we do and we see competition even if it's even if it's healthy. We see competition. Um So it can it can be um Again, for some of you, that this is, is a betrayal that can be forgiven, and that's another reason you want to be careful about what you say, what you share about what you think should happen next, and how you share that. Um, and, and also that maybe where this, this open sharing, this information came from, was someone who's competing for your attention. Well, and if not that, maybe, you know, there is a lot of chaos. There's a lot of different things going on here. We see predator, we see prey, which I'm not sure if you saw down at the bottom of the card. Um, there is this little rabbit escaping, perhaps, I'd like to think. No, that's just as bad, right? In any case, uh, <laughs> we... Um, might see that this this information this this message this truth this open sharing was shared with you what in the middle of a party or a full house um some type of busy event or uh, in the middle of a busy work day um over cell phone as you drove through traffic or the other person did you know i'm not saying that's a good idea just saying there may have been some chaos when the information was exchanged so something may be misinformation here or you know this may be a competitor someone who's competing for your friendship your companionship in some sense um your loyalty in some sense who's brought this information to you and they may have intentionally skewed it so it may be accidentally skewed it may be intentionally skewed there's there are are other reasons um Uh, to, to not jump the gun as far as sharing your feelings and allowing your, your feelings to become words and your your verbal words to be shared in a harsh way with this person who you believe has wronged you. I'm not saying they haven't. It looks like they have and they're caught. Um, but the, the way the information is shared with you still may be twisted to some extent you may there still may be an, an a key element that is either twisted or has been misheard uh yeah i think so you know i and and that's likely the way that that's you know <laughs> without intuiting or pulling any cards i we could have we could have guessed this just in the um just in the the assumption that 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 or just in knowing that it is usually most often, I want to say even statistically, but you know, I don't know that for sure, but it, it does, it seems that most of the time, um, the answer lies somewhere in between. So it is neither quite as bad as it has been portrayed to you, nor is it as innocent as it has been portrayed to you. I, I think for a lot of you gems, it's, um, 
it's been painted in such a way to uh, fuel you up as much as you are you are fueled up at this time um but the situation wasn't as innocent as someone else would have liked you to to have thought Again, I, I think the reading is actually advising you to cut ties, especially now seeing that the, the Three of Swords is the advice card. If this is someone competing for your, you know, your attention, your energy, your they want you to work for them or be in a relationship with them, whatever it is, live with them, be their, their bestie, whatever it is. Um, some part of you may like that, that, that attention. Some part of you may like those, that, those competitors vying for your, your efforts, your your heart showing you what they're made of to get get your attention. If that applies, you know, um, that could be why you're you're being advised, why we're seeing it multiple times that you're cutting ties with this individual and and quickly. And and so quickly that yes, you want to ask yourself, is it too quickly? Am I being too harsh? If you are already meditating frequently, amazing, ignore me. But if you are not, if you're struggling with that, uh, with this heat coursing through your veins, the little gems, then, then just let that be a friendly reminder. And there's a lot of reason heat's coursing through your veins. I think you're at a very elevated and happy place, feeling very secure and capable. Um but you are instantly reminded that you don't know everything. You don't know some of the, the situations and people closest to you correctly, right? And, and, and it may be excited and happy energy, but it's still hot, fast energy that's already coursing through you from celebrating and being elevated and, and recognizing that, that next level, that next state of being in yourself and feeling that pride, perhaps. Um, and even as difficult as this recognition is, that in of itself is also a victory, right? So all of that is very um, hot, fast, excited energy. And then you you sprinkle this spice of temper on top. You just may need reminded to go ahead and, and meditate more frequently, which can mean short uh short little uh sessions of meditation right but just frequently throughout more often throughout the day or the week to just gather your thoughts and again one more time just to make sure you say what you mean The situation absolutely does have to be addressed. It may also be that for some of you, it is easiest to rush in with a temperamental approach so that you address it and say what you mean without feeling too much of the pain or the realness of having to dismiss this person from your life or having to tell this person that you know what they've been doing and how much it hurts Maybe you don't want to cry. Maybe you don't want to connect. You just want to coldly let them know, I see you, now get out or go, or at the very least, never do that again. But spare yourself the actual uh, emotional uncomfortability of the face-off, the, the actual physical confrontation. Um but that's very, that's not indicative of who you know you are when your ego is quiet. So if anything, that may just be some egoic part of you that is still seeking that person's approval, which may be why you allowed them to get away with this in your life for so long. Some part of you had to have known the truth. 
I mean, I guess someone had to open your eyes to it, but you know, that may have been why you had them they, it, it closed to it for some time. You, you know, whomever that is to you, um, their acceptance, their approval, right? Still might be, it may just be, it might just be a, a reflex reaction, a habit to, to, to seek it or to put yourself in a position to please them, to receive that from them, or maybe from a lot of people. And let's, and if that's the case, let's allow that to be part of this major life completion. This is often a transition to, you know, another major chapter in your life. So allow that to be, um, something else that's then left behind if that's the case, that, that habit. Because obviously you see, if you know, that you do not need them to think anything of you in particular, they don't need to accept you. They don't need to praise you or uh, approve of, of you and what you have to say, then you can very calmly and matter-of-factly say what you mean to them without worrying about what their response or the, the subsequent connection or lack thereof will be, right? And then you truly just deal with that situation with the amount of energy it deserves and move on from it rather than needing to return with, like we said, that apology, et cetera, et cetera. Ultimately, it looks, it appears that this is all resulting in, in the, the more distant future, so probably moving into June, I would say, gems, a reversal of fortune with the Ace of Pentacles upturned there as the last card out. And we see the Six of Cups. Well, you can kind of see part of it, right? Um, well, she is, it seems that she's, you know, has a little uh, tea party happening. There's much life around her. Looks like there are some watching over her. She has her little stuffed animals at the, the tea party, fish swimming by. It does seem and feel and is often representative of a memory of nostalgia. Making, if you do have to cut someone out of your life because of this situation, Gems, then this card could very much be indicating that the reversal of fortune is that making that space in your life will, in the near future, by the end of the month or mid-month next month, um, in, in invite a soulmate like energy into your space because you have the room for them now. So maybe someone from your past or maybe someone who you have that same soulful connection with that reminds you of a, of a soulful connection from your past or that you thought you had maybe with this individual who's wronged you or used to have with them. Um, and it doesn't necessarily need to be compared to that connection or any connection, but this does feel like a, like a memory. And then that also may just be because this is a soulful connection, a soulmate like connection that comes in and, and it's so soulful. It's so deep that you feel like you've known them before. Maybe you come to find you have known them in a past life, something like that. Uh, but they feel very familiar. They feel meant to be connected to you, meant to be in your life. That could just be a new friend. It might be a new lover. It might be a new coworker, soulmate. It can be a deep connection, a soulful connection of so many sorts to me it does not necessarily um, have to be in the realm of romance. I will show you before we go, Gems, that the Wheel of Fortune was below that. Love this version of the Wheel of Fortune. And so all of this is fated to be, meant to be. 
And it does ask, ask you, remind you to see the opportunities that fate puts in front of you. You know, these are not necessarily opportunities that we have called in. And so we cannot necessarily, or even if we have, right, we cannot necessarily decide when and where and how they present themselves. But it is up to us not to miss them not to miss them so an alternative message that we will make time for um here is that you could be missing an earthly opportunity at the end of the month or next month this i i think it is the it, it, it can absolutely represent um reversal of fortune that was the first and strongest message that message that came through but this can also just be an earthly physical tangible 3d opportunity and so there's the potential to miss it so that reversal of fortune may come in the form of an opportunity that you need not or that you must not miss and with this being the clarifier perhaps you are swimming in memories of the past or perhaps some of you are um will be like to tempted to spend too much time swimming in memories of the past feeling nostalgic for how things used to be before you had to make make this this type of of decision to cut someone out of your life or or let them know what you know how you feel what you're thinking you know how the connection has to change um and i think that can absolutely gems be why this is 40 minutes long why we talked so long about making sure you say what you mean so that the situation is resolved with the amount of energy that it deserves. It has only taken energy from you. So you, you only give it as, as much as it needs to be resolved by saying what you mean and then leaving it behind, that situation at least, if not that person entire, entirely, for a lot of you, that person entirely at this time. And it's, it's, it's simply meant to be it's making space for someone else. Right, but you give that situation the, no more than the energy it needs, and and that won't be true if you have to return with apologies, apologies because you didn't say exactly what you meant, right? And that type of situation, uh, why we talked about it, and why this is forty minutes long, that type of situation having to go back with an apology, things getting teary-eyed, etc. Um, when really you you know that this needed addressed, you may have just done so a little too harshly. That's exactly what could lead you to being lost in the, this, these memories, this nostalgia, swimming too long, and the nostalgia for what was, while you possibly potentially let an earthly opportunity pass you by because your head is down, worried about the tea right but before before we actually hit 40 minutes i will leave your messages there gems i do hope at least a lot of the needed insight was able to reach you and i love you and i can't wait to do another reading for you um, just as soon as possible do uh, make the most of the rest of may bye gems